Welcome to the Small Business Office Showcase, where daily we provide you a quick tour of a government agency's small business portal or something similar from a large prime. We understand that as a small business, time and resources are limited. We hope by quickly summarizing this information, we save you time and perhaps put you one step closer to your next contract. In this episode, we'll focus on the Department of Transportation. To make it easier for you to quickly do your own research, the links we discuss will be in the description below. When you look at these uh, links, don't worry about the size of the text because I, I made it small just so they're on one line, but I'll put those links in the description. In each episode, we're targeting six pieces of information we think are most valuable to you. Does the agency have a small business portal? Does the agency list out events it hosts or attends so we can plan well in advance? Is there a forecast for the next 12 to 24 months that will help you identify opportunities? Does the agency provide a list of current primes that have an obligation to subcontract to small businesses? Is there any special registration required for this agency other than what's required for the entire federal government? And then finally, is there a list of people available that you can reach out to for help or to get questions answered? You can see the basic results on this slide, but let's go ahead and take a quick tour. So the first step is the Ozdebu portal page. Um, you'll notice that one has a link and we're gonna click on it. It has a nice page here that's got a decent amount of information, tools, et cetera. Um, so you scroll down, you can see some, I really like this part here where they had most requested page pages and, and I've got a development background, so I'm kind of curious on whether they do that automatically, but that is a really handy thing because you know if it's what we're looking for the most, putting it forward to us is great. You got basic contact information over on the right um, for being able to reach them as well. Coming back, the next thing is, do they tell us about their events? So they have a news and events page and, and here you can kind of see what's going on with uh, basically, these are, uh, you know, social media type posts I would submit that's in there. Um, it would be nice if that was actually buried so that you could see it. But unfortunately, although they have an upcoming events area, uh, it was last updated in 2017, and I don't see any events, and I wasn't able to find any events. Um, I'll track to see if we can find any, but right now there are none. So the forecast, let's go ahead and look at the 2018 forecast they have. I thought their tool looked pretty neat, um, the ability to just do some filtering. Um, you do have the ability to kick all the opportunities out to an Excel spreadsheet to be able to do your own activity, and that's handy. Uh, I'll just show you a little bit in here. Um, one of my favorite ones is always to be determined. So when you sort that, you can begin to see uh, some key stuff in here. It's interesting, all the construction is the one that's not, but. This one here, it's, it's 150 to 500,000. That's the size of opportunity for any small business. Doesn't matter whether you just started yesterday, you can handle that type of a contract. Um, and it's to be determined, so it'd be interesting to kind of learn more. Let's go ahead and click on view details a little bit. And so these are business services. Um, So it's pretty straightforward. I'm not trying to read it for everybody, but it provides you the contact information and it's to be determined, right? So you can follow up and, and find out if this is um, something that they might consider setting aside for whatever your designation is. This is a really great question right here. Is this a follow on to a current 8A contract? And the reason is because once something is 8A or ability one, it can never go to another um, uh, designation unless it is significantly changed. But if it's the same work, it just stays with um, 8A or Ability 1. All right, so that was the forecast. Let's go back to our slide. Uh, the subcontracting, if we click on that one, and again, these links will be in the description. Subcontracting, there's not a whole lot of information in here. They've got a good, um, uh, you know, sharing what, they're in, uh, what they feel about it. And as they come down, they've got other stuff. They've got links down here farther to subnet and also to the uh, directory, but they're pretty much just giving us generic information. I don't know if you noticed up here on the top right though, they did have a uh, directory here that when you click on it, you can see um, that they've got who, uh, who has current contracts right now and who to reach out to. This is great because you can reach out and begin to talk with them. Maybe you got similar NAICS codes and you can just follow up and say, hey, I'm a small business trying to do business in the organization, is there something I can uh, help with throughout transportation? If, if you try to just reach out to um, small business specialists, they are, um, they're constantly contacted by small businesses, but I would be willing to bet a, a nice dinner, you know, not a, not a 
McDonald's restaurant dinner, but a nice dinner that these people here don't get one phone call, let alone hundreds of phone calls. Because look how many people are here. That would be a lot of work, and most uh, small businesses are so busy it's hard for them to reach out. But if you can make the time to reach out and call these people, because you can't email them, you can't spam them, so you have to call them. Um, if you're able to do that, you might find one or two that open the door to the Department of Transportation for you to be able to subcontract. So uh, I give top marks to um, Department of Transportation for providing us that subcontracting information. Moving down to registration, they have nothing special, as you can see. And then let's look at the last thing, uh, reaching out to their small business folks. And not only do they provide information, which is great, but as you come down, you'll notice that within their components, so FAA is a component uh, agency within Department of Transportation, you can begin to find out who those people are because each one of them have their own needs. Um, and reaching out and beginning to talk with them would be great. So this is a whole bunch of context for you to reach out to to begin to build a relationship within the Department of Transportation. Let me go ahead and scroll that to the top. So good job with that from them as well. That concludes this walkthrough. I hope you found this information helpful as you continue to grow your business. Please provide any comments below or reach out to me directly if you have questions using my email address that's in the description. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join again for more video tours.